Callahan here, and welcome back to another... Oh, are you kidding me? Of all people. Anyway, welcome back to another discussion video where we will be covering Doom Pissed. It's about dang time. Looking at you, Orisa. Yes, yes, you and your adorable cheeky face. Are you going to do it? No, not right now. Okay, well, anyway. Finally... He is here. And the reason why I hadn't made a video yet was because initially he didn't have all his lovely cosmetics. Only but conflict do we evolve. But he has them now, so of course, as with the Arisa video after this, I will be checking all out his new little deals. And can I just say, despite being a three star difficulty hero, I am loving him. For one, right click is how you Stay use down. his wonderful Doom Fist. Well his left hand has a four shot shotgun on it on each knuckle that kind of recharges similarly like what see that it's kind of almost like uh tracers guns you could say and notice when you keep firing while you have no ammo you have this very slow rate of fire which to be honest is kind of fascinating ha Supposedly, whenever you do that against people on a wall, it does extra damage. It seems to be one side one so far, so it must be true. Uh, let's see, what else? Ah, he's got this awesome uppercut. That is his left shift ability. Let me see if I can use it. Hey, hey, look! Hey, boom! And boom! I am loving this guy, if you can't tell. Oh, get, get, put, put! And there's also his E button is a slam attack that at the point of impact does like a draw in kind of suction dealy bopper. You just die. Just, just, just die. Thank you. So, and also if you notice in the top, in the bottom left corner on his health bar, the more damage you deal was either damage or kills. Let me check. Okay. Kills. Yeah. Kills with the charge Doomfist here. Yeah, whenever you get kills with the charge there, you develop a temporary shield. Oh! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Basically, whenever his fist is glowing blue and you successfully cause damage, you will get temporary shielding, which is very nice. That passive ability is known as... Oh crap, the best defense. Which is a good offense! Get it? Get it? Cause cause he's an offense hero. Get it? And his ultimate there is Meteor Strike, which in my opinion is a pretty much a Pokemon move. Or at least that's how I see it. Because when you press Q, he goes up into the air, and you go about like five seconds, or you can click and just ruin everybody's day. For some reason, I find it really hard to kill the training bots with that deal, but that's better. That's 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 fine. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and real quick get this back up to full, and I'm gonna see if I can actually get kills. Alright, alright, so let's try this again. Ready? And now! Boom! I ruined his day! Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and with all that loveliness taken care of, we're gonna head over to the Hero Gallery where I will show you all his lovely new cosmetics! And I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm loving this guy for reasons that I will explain in a moment. One debt to society later. And welcome to the Hero Gallery. Let's get started now, shall we? First off, his lovely skins. There's, of course, the classic as shown in the animation, which I honestly actually really like. It's not at all what I expected, but when you look at the silhouette on the three Doomfist banners, it's actually exactly what we were going to get from the beginning. I will admit, though, I'm having a hard time being able to tell what's cybernetic on him and what's not, because his, his origin 
you know, he's like the heir, or I don't know if he's an heir anymore, but it was a part of this, you know, fancy cybernetics company. Hence the fact that when he lost his right arm in the Omnic Crisis, the last one, he was able to get it back. But, I mean, there's that weird square there. And, I mean, his feet look weird. I don't know if those are just, like, futuristic sandals or... I, I don't I don't know. And then, of course, there's his fist. Like, that's his left fist. He should still have that. Is this, like, a skin-tight glove? I have no idea what's going on. But, first off, there's Daisy, which, honestly... It's a daisy skin. I'm just thinking of Mario Party right now. I do like the purple on the gauntlet, though. That looks really cool. Lake, which it looks very nice in the blue. I am loving that. Plains, just like all yellow and sandy. No, I really like this one. I don't know why. It's got kind of like a greenish yellow, but I am, I'm still very much liking the color differences on that one. And then we've got... Ooh, sunset. Yay, look at that. Oh, he's going to punch you right into the horizon. Then this is where it gets interesting, where we've got the cheetah skin. I really like the cheetah skin, but then I like big cats, so that's kind of obvious. I love all the cheetah print. It looks very nice. I am kind of miffed. Literally, the only skin I wanted was a rhino skin, because these, those horns there and the ones over here reminded me of rhino horns. So I'm like, why, why no rhino skin? Why, Blizzard? Why do you betray me like this? It would work so well. Come on. Then there's the painted, which I really like this one. I think my favorite part is how they kind of dulled the fist over here with the blacks. And then they've got all the white stuff over here that dream brings all the focus to his markings. That was very... Very good idea. I don't know whose idea what that was, but they need a raise. I don't know. I unfortunately know next to nothing about African uh, culture, but considering how well uh, Blizzard is doing with the other stuff, like uh, Farah's Indian ones, Roadhogs, you know, Maori, etc., I'm presuming this is on par with the real culture. From what little I know, it looks like it, and it looks awesome. Now we get into some interesting skins. This one, very Yondu-esque with the fin, is called Caution, which, to be honest, I'm guessing is for that right there on his arm. This is like a construction-type cyborg deal. He's kind of got a Lucio-itis going on with his legs there, where it looks like it's completely separate from his body, but... Yeah, I like how like they separated the muscles and everything. That looks really cool with the metal sheen and everything. And then they got the big clunky transformer fist over in the side there. Now this one, initially with the name and everything, might not make a whole lot of sense. But I think I have an idea. I'll, go I'll Google it and apparently there is this uh, news agency that focus on humanitarian kind of stuff and like stories that don't get told that need to be told etc and now they the news agency named with the same name mind you uh was founded in crap the name is escaping me i'm gonna look it up real quick again but it was founded in the capital of kenya which is also its largest city so that for one, is very fascinating, and to be honest, works. Ah, Nairobi. There we go. It was founded in 1995 in Nairobi. And what's ironic is its current headquarters, according to Wikipedia, forgive me, I'm looking at Wikipedia, I know, is Switzerland. Switzerland. As in the same place, or country, where the Overwatch headquarters used to be. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I think, in, I think with that bit of irony there, an Overwatch themed skin for Doomfist would be hilarious. I doubt it, because he's one of the leaders of Talon. He's as far away from Overwatch as you can get. But, I mean, come on. Come on. With, with this little bit of information, how can we not? Now, uh, this, uh, this one here, I really like this one. Mostly because of all the different masks they've got in the fist here. Like his red skin, the mask he's wearing there, the his all outfit, that looks so cool. And kudos to Blizzard 
for not making the Avatar skin the blue one. Rather, they made Spirit the blue one. So, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Spirit one, I also really like this one. This one, actually, despite the... Okay, if you kind of ignore the African stuff just for a second, the blue skin and how the we've got the cayenne lighting from his muscles reminds me of the the Thunderlords from Mists of Pandaria in World of Warcraft. The oh crap, I'm the Mogu. There we go, the Mogu, who were like these stone-skinned uh, Chinesey dudes who oppressed the Pandaren. Kind of his his blue skin on here kind of reminds me of that, to be honest, and I love it. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Look, the fluff moves. The fluff, it moves. But yeah, those are all his skins. Very nice. Very nice. To be honest, I still want the rhino skin, but I'll I'll just have to wait for now. Then there's, of course, that, you know, there. But I do. Oh, I love the fake out one. I hope he gets a, he gets a genuine laugh. Emote other than just the fake out. I would love, I would, I would, I would, I would love an actual laugh emote. Wait, wait. Ah, no, ah, give me a second. I can do this. I can do this. I swear. Maybe I hit the sleeve. Wait, wait for it. Oh, that does him being taunting now. But I also like the intimidate. That's really cool. Again, I don't know much about all the African culture stuff or like the martial arts that he's learned or anything. Because I know not only has he learned mo modern martial arts during his uh, time as a, a fighter, but he also did a bunch of, you know, the classic African ones as well. So I'm wondering if like that there or this has anything to do with either just African culture in general or the martial arts he learned. Now he does come with the resting one. I like how he's got the big his bigger hand behind him because the gauntlet makes it longer, so that really works. And then boom. my favorite part about that one is because he has a voice line where he says, Oh, something about like come at the king, don't miss. So, yeah. We've got the intense seismic slam and superior in the in the victory poses there. Let's see. <clears throat> Try me. Combo breaker. Don't get back up. Go and sit down. I haven't even started. K.O. One punch is all I need. Spare me the commentary. <laughs> I like that one because, again, it goes back to the whole like, UFC-esque fighting deal. Talk to the fist. You're not bad, but not good either. I knew he was going to say that. You must be joking. Oh, loving this guy. Villain or no villain, he is great. Let's see if he has knees. Punch? Hmm. Interesting. Why does it have a question mark? And then here does the arm look different? No? Maybe? Huh. I don't know, but that's very interesting. Oh, for a second there, I thought there was nothing there. It's literally a crater. Oh, that's cool. Boof. Yes. <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like that one. Oh, is that going to be an icon? Oh, I doubt I'll use it, but I would love to have it. Oh, paint and oh, that's cool! The parts where he doesn't he has paint are see-through. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love that one. Oh, mm. okay, that that hurts me deeply. <clears throat> oh, I love that one. Oh, meta game references, nice. D.F. Oh, hey! He does his initials kind of the way I do mine. I can respect that. Pixel. That looks cute. But, oh, there's a monkey on the punching bag. 
Puntsman? Huntsman. Huntsman? Why do I feel like that's referencing something? Smoke, because he's on fire. <laughs> the greatest. Oh, yeah. See, 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 see what I mean? See what I mean? I love how they actually made a spray for the, for the deal. Now. That's very nice. Stance. Mm-hmm. Good form. I'm loving it. Sonic Boom. What? They said? What? Balance is key? Is that what they mean? Balance is key? Hmm. Interesting. Thumbs up and it's only the Doomfist. I like that. Ooh. Smashing. I like it. Why do, I, why do I feel like this is a foreshadowing kind of deal here for later on? And look, he can be matched up with others like Zarya. That's so cool. I like how right after that is that. Very interesting. But I am loving this. This is so cool. Then... Something feels off about his highlight reels. I don't know why. I mean, they're really cool. Don't get me wrong. They just feel different. Let me, give me a second. Hmm. Maybe I'm hallucinating. No. No, I think I know what's missing. That. That right there. That's what it's missing. Right? That. That's what it's missing. I well, you know I heard it there. Hmm. I guess his fist is just so mighty it's overcoming the highlight noise. Okay, but that's... I'm gonna just real quick wrap up this video by mentioning that I'm pretty sure the whole Doomfist thing is basically another type of Warcraft reference because, you know, there is the Doom Hammer. And what I find ironic is that Akande actually, the whole, you know, killing his former mentor thing is kind of hilarious because one of the wielders of the Doom Hammer, specifically Orgrim Doom Hammer, actually murdered the previous war chief, Blackhand and took up the mantle of Warchief in his stead. The only difference is Argrim already had the hammer. You know? But, like, still, you you, you get my point. The, the references are there. The references are there. But it's very nice. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Doomfist is still only on the PTR, but patience is key. He will be with us momentarily. <laughs>